couple of years ago, and it is now a tradition of this game. And Tucker from the 10-yard line will bring it back. Brought down at the 28. So Their offense has been catered to him, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. And he'll throw on first down. And a rifle one to the first down line to gain, but that could be an interception on the first snap of the game. Yeah, his name is Yassine McKee, but as you said, the nickname Frizz. And right here, Aguilar just misses this throw inside. And McKee is Johnny on the spot. Man, they might need to move that man to wide receivers. Making catches like that, watch him. Read and react, break down, and then break on the football. And has not attempted one this season. And they'll keep it on the ground, and why not? When you've got Rashad Amos into the secondary, into the red zone. Busts it up the middle for 24. These receivers have to look the ball in and try to make those catches even though there's wet conditions. 24-yard field goal attempt. So you can give them a catchable, fat football. They can go make plays. Kel Haywood. As it looked like Milan Tucker got shaken up on the first kickoff return of the day, and Haywood bottled up the 17-yard line. That bare hand is going to allow you to feel that ball so much better than the gloves. So third down and long, Aguilar. He's going to take another shot. This one's on time to King Robinson. Breaking tackles, dragging. Momentum inside the red zone before he goes out of bounds. 51 yards. Jackson, you don't want to catch it? Well, guess what, buddy? I'll take it. Beats his man right off the line of the scrimmage and then does a nice job looking that ball all the way in. The rain was not a problem on that one. Broke the tackle of Matt Salopek, the MAC Defensive Player of the Year. Another broken tackle in the backfield. And this time we've got an injured Red Hawk on the play. 29 yards out for the second team all Sun Belt kicker. High snap, put down Hughes. Puts it through. At a very high level. In the round. Turnable kick from the 10 yard line. Eon Mosey. Breaking tackles out to the 40 yard line. And that'll fire up the Miami sideline. And we were in their locker room pregame as well. The experience at the quarterback spot. So they're cool with three, four yards in a cloud of dust to keep this game very, very low score. Amos, extra effort, dives. And it looks like he got just to the line to gain. It's a massive O line, and you got a running back that's 234 pounds on top of that. Amos made a man miss in the backfield, but lost his footing. He can run a little bit, y'all. Three-man rush. Essen. That's going to get back a little bit of what they lost. Cade McDonald back to the original line of scrimmage. Now, from the 37-yard line, even with the Groza Award winner. It's a wet game out here. Everything is going to be at a premium when it comes to the fundamentals. Well, don't tell Aguilar it's raining. Makai Jackson on a quick slant out to the 24-yard line. Behind him that they're certainly going to try to use today to help out Joey Aguilar. Yeah, and the thing about Kanye Roberts is they feel like he's a straight-ahead downhill runner, which could be great in these conditions. In stride. Another completion for Aguilar. Caden Robinson does it again. Catch and run. Because that's not what he necessarily does. He's a tackling machine, but to have him in the slot trying to cover Caden Robinson right there, you saw, you saw the disadvantage, and Robinson certainly took advantage of that. Robinson was number one in the Sun Belt in touchdown catches. Already 78 yards. There's the quick out, smoothly done by Joey Aguilar to Makai Jackson. Let's head down to Chris. Transfer portal. Coaches allowed him to play because he's a graduate transfer. Thought he had done enough for this team. Well, they're getting it done through the air without Tucker as Caden Robinson. Come have to reach outside their frame, and Aguilar is doing a great job of that right now. Play action. And hit from the blind side. The ball popped out. Aguilar had no chance. Ty Wise came untouched and buried him. And the ball bounced back about seven or eight yards. Matt Salopak. Number seven in America in tackles. And Ty Wise, 110 tackles as, as well. Castle on the third down run gets inside the 15, all the way down to the 10 yard line. And instead, they give up a third and 23 run for 26. And look, he rides that way, but he finds that hole and keeps his feet churning to get down the field, talking about, look at me, look at me. now made 11 in a row. 
And that's kind of the situation that they're in right now, which is why they want to run the football so much. Amos, the seized part. He goes right up the middle. Across the 50. To the Appalachian State 45-yard line before he's brought down by Caden Sullivan. Oh, my goodness, people. I want you to watch how the offensive line is going to go here and here to create this massive hole down the middle of the field. As Hessen goes, he hands his... After the penalty, Amos drops the football. Loose at the 50-yard line. It looks like Appalachian State has a takeaway. And we've got feet going out from under officials as well. That's how slippery it is out there. So the Red Hawks give it away. You Again, see. It's been raining all day, and here is what happens. <laughs> I don't blame him here. What If you punt it, you're not really going to give up that much field position. Go for it. Play action. Aguilar on a rollout. He's going to run and pick it up easily, and then so. And he doesn't slide on a day where you think it might be kind of fun to slide. Adam flexing on the defense. We see you, Joey Aguilar. Comes out. Hey, man, if they're going to give you that running lane, take it. I thought he was going to slide right here, but he said, no, sir. I'm taking on all the Miami University defenders. That's a tough quarterback, right? And understand when I say he's a little slow-footed. Oh, no. Drop the ball. Boy, the slippery conditions. Again, a driving rainstorm here in Orlando, and that time Maddox Cop was the victim, and it basically looked just like this. Yeah, it is coming down right now. Empty backfield for Aguilar. Four-man rush. Quick hitter to the sideline. Caden Robinson, another catch. Good for a first down as well. Another zone read. Dropping the ball is Amos. And it looks like it is a giveaway again by Amos and the Red Hawks offense. It's a fumble. We talked about it. State. It's the ballsmanship. It's a little bit wet. You make this read. You got to secure that fully into Amos's arms, or you have to pull that out. Playing against a conference champion in Miami. They've got Anderson Castle. Takes the fourth down handoff. Gets driven back. Extra effort. Boys hit close. Salapak made first contact. The American flag to the right in the end zone is starched. Amos. He's got a first down. That'll put him over 100 yards rushing as well. E.J. Jackson made the stop. 12 more for Amos. It's a rough life down here. <laughs> it's really a shame no one's in here with me. Roberts again with a stiff arm. Inside the 35, down close to the 30-yard line. Nice run there by Kanye Roberts. I want you to watch how he's going to ride the wave this way and then cut back on the field as an offensive line moves as a unit to the left. Read it one hat at a time and then boom, hit that cut back. And, but honestly, get the first down so you get a fresh set of downs to punch this in for a touchdown and potentially put the game out of reach based off the way Miami's offenses look so far. Aguilar to throw. Right at the first down line to game. Eli Wilson knocked out of bounds. Something we talked about with Frank Ponce, the offensive coordinator for App State. Watch Joey Aguilar trying to throw the deep ball. Nothing's there. Throw the check down. That is deep down the field. Nice job by Joey Aguilar working through his progression to get it to the right guy. Aguilar on a keeper. Makes a man miss at the goal line. He's in for the game's first touchdown. Yeah, look at a touchdown, baby. Joey Aguilar on the zone read action. You're going to see him right here. Read the defensive end, pull it out. Ooh, hit that man with a move because he's got more moves in the military family. And then truck his. What are we running? And then I don't even know what the playbook is. So he said, for a defensive guy, I want to be in charge of those moments, even though I, I don't particularly like that side of the ball. Uh, he's not going to like this. Henry Hessen sacked back inside the 35-yard line by Montez Kelly. Their defense, this number seven-ranked defense in the country, is going to have to get a turnover. Oh, well, they might get a turnover here. The muffed exchange may give Miami the short field as Roberts coughed it up. The Red Hawk defense thinks they have it. I think they do. It is a first down for Miami, Ohio. A gift takeaway. 
This all the dirt and grass and logos are all over all these guys jerseys right now. But Miami has an opportunity to put themselves square back into this because their defense put them in a scoring position. Show the big fellas up front some love as well. Watch them. Just read it out. He doesn't even get touched, people. Those are the best kind of runs when you're an offensive player, when you don't have to do anything. You're going to see this guy. The offensive line is going to go here, and you're going to have this man right here come back across the formation, and then Amo. <laughs> there were never any fries left at the bottom of my bag. <laughs> I'm sure that surprises you. Castle right up the middle, first down and coming downhill fast. Miami's got to find a way to get something going in the passing game. There's a play action fake. Essen throws it to the sideline. Coming back and circling forward is Larvidan for a gain of about three. Could end up turning the tide in a game. It's certainly this one. Play action here. Aguilar, low throw. Strowman tried to scoop it up, and it looks like he got his arms underneath it. Man, what a catch. <laughs> You're not going to do it on the field? I've been told an editorial decision has been made. Oh, loose ball. Oh, another loose ball. A fumbled ball. exchange. Oh, Miami thinks they've got it, and they do. For Miami with 10-13 to go. And this one's just about the ballsmanship from the center to the quarterback. The ball never even gets off the ground. It just... Kind of just willy nilly's there, and then the up offense, and they got to find creative ways to get space for Amos. And there's Amos, first down. And they'll run it again. He finds a cutback lane. He's got a first down. Did the ball pop free? Oh my. Appalachian State's got the ball. No signal from the officials as to whether or not the play's still alive. It looks like they will say it is a fumble. And an Appalachian State recovery. At least an official on the far side seemed to indicate that. Ruling on the field was a fumble recovered by Appalachian State. Appalachian State gets the takeaway with 2.39 to go. It's very close. As you see Mosey go here. He's down. He got control, got control, got control. Oh, I don't know. There's the ball. You see the ball out. App State clearly recovers it. Media timeout. It'll all be about where his legs are. Are his leg is his knee down? To get a monsoon here in Orlando, a dozen fumbles, the most in a bowl game since 1988, and the latest goes the way of Appalachian State. Now it looks like Anderson Castle nearly coughed it up. But he got it back and gained two yards. Give their offense one more opportunity with the ball. Castle to midfield. Gets a push from behind. He's got a first down. And that is huge for App State. Anderson Castle into the secondary. Breaking tackles. And gets almost to the sideline. Brought down at the 21-yard line. He asked me to give him a shout out. I know they didn't get the win, but happy birthday, Sam. And for App State, a beautiful win. But as you said multiple times today, this game was more than just about football. This game was about the avocados from Mexico Cure Bowl. And anyone out there who's fighting through cancer just want to say, keep fighting. We're all here with you. And you're going to have a testimony someday that you're going to be able to tell. We're right there along there with you in that battle. Don't give up. Give something. Give